In today's video, Ayush makes me a sick edit and I explain my back day philosophy. I have a dream, that's all I need I'll make it happen with some work and belief Know what I want, so I'll take it on I've made mistakes, but mistakes make you strong Let's break it down for a minute I want the crown, I'm gon' get it You hear me loud, man, I'm winning Yeah, Charlie Sheen will be grinning These ladies know that I'm sinning And this is just the beginning I'm closing in the night And there ain't no point in resisting They want the best of me now Best of me now Best of me now Best of me now Welcome back to the video guys. Thank you for watching. This is going to be my explanation of a pull day workout. Ayush made a sick video edit to start this and if you like this, you'll love yesterday's chest workout. We're starting with the lat pull down. Now, although it's a basic exercise, many people get it wrong, myself included for years. Doing a lat pull down with too much weight, you tend to engage the shoulders and the biceps by rolling things forward. You want to keep the chest up, pull from the elbows and make sure you're engaging the back muscles. As always, focus on the eccentric of a lift until you master it. Then you can start to add some weight to the bar. Focus on form first, then focus on weight. Then you can overload. Now, when I'm doing a back training session, what I really like to do is change angles. So I like to start with a vertical movement like a lat pull down and then go to a horizontal movement like a row. This row machine in the old school Tampa powerhouse is rare, but I love it because as you can see, I keep my hands below my elbows and that really takes the biceps out of the movement. I can really feel my back squeezing and engaging. And uh, thank you to Core Nutritionals for the sick stringer bra. This is one of my uh, few stringers that I don't usually wear, but you know, I got Ayush here making me look good, so I figured I might as well take advantage. So again, we went from vertical to horizontal. Now we're doing vertical, but instead of a wide grip, we're doing narrow. This is probably my favorite exercise. A lot of people think you go really wide to build wide lats. I feel like you go narrow to build thick lats. The lat pull down from high, you want to make sure you're pulling from the elbows. Then we switch again to another movement going wide. This is a wide high chest row. What I'm trying to do here is engage the back muscles in the upper back, rear delts, trapezius, all the big parts of the upper back. I really like to finish my back training session with a pullover. I feel like it engages the lats from top to bottom. I don't use a ton of weight, but I really focus on making sure I'm engaging the lats all the way through this. If you do this wrong, you will feel it sometimes in your triceps, but if you engage it, you can feel the lat muscles really going and stretching out and contracting. Then I'm going to finish with a superset because again, this is a pull day. So what I like to do at the end of the pull day is a bicep trap superset. The reason being, the biceps and the traps have already been hit quite a bit during this workout, but the best way to ensure that we're hitting them properly is to just get them some full range of motion. So I did a dumbbell shrug superset with a standing barbell curl. Um, I also do an arm day and I do a shoulder trap day in this, in this session, but I like to just finish the pull day by engaging these muscles, getting a little more volume, standing dumbbell curl here. We did five sets of each and, uh, I just keep my palms flat. I used to rotate. I find that I found that that just gave me too much issues with like some wrist pain. I keep my palms flat. I keep my elbows by my side. I don't think I went over 45 pounds here. I just focused on full contractions for the biceps because again, they were already being used. And then I just finished with a simple barbell shrug. I lean slightly forward to engage the traps in a slightly different angle. The traps are a very long muscle. They start at the top of the neck and they go down below the middle of the back. All right, guys. Hope you had a good session and uh, look for another leg one tomorrow. Have a great day, guys.